Hey guys, welcome back. So, I don't have anything new today. Um, I did have a couple people ask me about this a while ago. What payment do I use when I do my shows? So, I thought I'd show you. Um, I made this video once and unfortunately when I used my credit card, I set it down. So, it was out there for everybody to see. So, I have to redo it. All right. So I have done a lot of research. Um, I have been with PayPal since they first started. Then I used Square. And then I ended up going back to PayPal when they got this something called PayPal here. And it was like one of your little readers, you know, that sat on the top of your phone. Um, that plugged into your, what do you call it? It would plug into where you would put your earphones in it. I hated that thing. And I hated the square thing for the same reason because it was just difficult to use. Sometimes it wouldn't catch. And then PayPal came out with a machine called PayPal Zettle. So this is what it looks like. This is the Zettle dock. I actually got this free when I signed up. I don't know if they still do it. But it came with the machine and the dock. So I have two machines. This is one. And this is the other. I have one in white, one in black. And the reason I have two is this way when I have help in my booth that I can take my phone and not worry that she's not going to be able to make any sales until I get back. So if I want to go get something to eat or use the restroom, um, I take my phone and she has her own Zettle and the program basically on her phone as well. So this is what we got. Very lightweight, not heavy at all. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And you don't really need this dock, but I like it. So this is the dock. And it's also got a plug in here that will come out and will hook up to a computer, a laptop, or whatever you want. I use batteries. So I have these two huge batteries. And these are going to hopefully work with my lights that I have. But if not, basically... I can charge my phone with this. I can charge a few things with this. I can put in a USB port that has more than one. So kind of like a hub. Or I can hook multiple things in this. And this will last way over the weekend. This I used last year at the show. I have not charged it. And it still has four bars. So I mean this thing lasts forever. You can get these on Amazon. They're pretty pricey. They're about 80 bucks a piece. Um, but... If you don't have electricity, honestly, it's worth it. So, as far as the dock, you don't have to use this. But then again, this is going to be on your table. So, unless you have a secure place to put it, I use the dock and I C-clamp the dock to the table. So, this will sit somewhere where it don't move. Basically, I just put it in there. Okay? So, on my phone, I have a Zettle app. And I'm using a different phone because I have a phone that I actually use to make phone calls and messages which I'm taping on so I can't show you this one. This is an old phone and I don't have capabilities to message or make phone calls but I can still use the internet. So I have two phones. My sister-in-law will get this one. So you get into the Zettle app and you can make your sales any way you want. What I mean by that is you could just go straight amount and if they want to buy a pair of earrings, whatever, you just put in that amount, charge, and you're ready to go. Or you can go into products. And because I have so many polymer clay earrings, um, I can't take a picture of all of them. But for my glass stuff, I'm going to start taking pictures of everything. So if I go into product, as you can see, I've got this lemon yellow. Okay, and that's my bracelet. And so I can take a picture of everything that I have. But again, if you've got more than 100 products, I don't suggest taking pictures of everything because you're going to be sitting there and scrolling them unless you number them and you know exactly where they are. All right, so we're not going to do that. Okay, so we're just going to do a test here. But anyways, if somebody buys like, you know, four pairs of polymer earrings, okay, one was $8, one was $20, one was $15, one was $18, you just click on each item and in the shopping cart they go so on my polymer clay I've only got earrings in here now I got to put the rest of them in there but because I have so much I just categorize the product 
So I basically went like this, added a product, and I wrote polymer clay earrings, 50 bucks. That's it. And then it'll create, it'll create its own little, here, let me remove that. It'll create its own little box right here. So all of these are all by price, as you can see. So for today, we're just going to use a test. So there we go. I just did that. And there you go. So great thing about this is you can use Venmo. So basically, you just hit Venmo. And yeah, I don't know why my internet is so slow. I have these printed out on my table. So I will take this QR code and I will put it on both tables in the corner. And so that way, if they want to use Venmo, all they have to do is scan this, and the price is already on here. So they just have to scan it with their camera, and it'll take them right to my Venmo. The amount will already be in it. All they have to do is hit pay. Same with PayPal. It's got the same thing with PayPal. They have their own QR code as well, even though they're owned by the same company. Um, they just take a picture of that, scan it and you're ready to go okay you can also do obviously cash you can make invoices if they want an invoice and stuff like that you can select your customers and then uh, just pick I'm just picking up one or whatever and then you create an invoice of the amount of what it is and that way if they need it for tax purposes they've got it okay and obviously you can do cash or gift card i don't have our gift cards so you can put in you know maybe they wanted to put in 50 cents in cash or whatever you know you can do that well it won't do it okay i thought maybe you could split it up but you can't but you could do that and then card okay so once you hit your card right there it automatically goes to your card reader and I got to be careful because, like I said, I showed my numbers before. So I'm going to kind of do it this way so you guys can't see it or anybody else can. Okay, and that's it. Payment canceled. It didn't go through. I don't know why, but that's okay because I really don't want it to go through. But anyways, you just stick it in there. Bum. Well, no, I've got to do this. So it's a dollar. It's going to go to me anyways. I'm going to do this off camera. So I'm going to charge and I'm going to pay with a card. There we go. I'm going to put this in there. I don't know why it keeps canceling my payment. It didn't do that at all today. Okay. I'll go ahead and take it off the dock and that way I can put it in my hand. There we go. Alrighty. So we're going to do that. Waiting for the amount. It's one fifty or a dollar ten. Okay, so approved, remove the card. So we did that thank you and then after you're done it'll give you print you can print out a receipt if you have a printer with you I don't so you can either email it to them or you can send it through message by adding their phone number I can put mine in there and it'll come through my phone but unfortunately it's the phone that I'm recording on and it's like instant so I just wanted to show you the PayPal Zettle and how you can set it up again if you only have a few products you can just go um, add a product. Let me let me find a pair of earrings or something that I've got here. All right, so here we go. We've got a we've got some Christmas tree earrings. Okay, these are polymer clay. But again, I wouldn't do it with polymer clay just because I have so many. So polymer clay Christmas door. Okay, how much would I sell it for? I don't know. Let's just go $18, right? Take a picture of it. Not the greatest picture, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, nope. I didn't crop it. Darn it. 
Let me try that again. Okay, it's going to ask you to crop the picture. So obviously you're going to move it in the center. And that would be really time consuming if you got so many. Okay, so anyways, there you go. There's your product. So you can have them categorized. Um, you can make earrings, bracelets, whatever. But now all you got to do is click on that and it goes right into your shopping cart. So it's pretty cool. I'm really happy with the Zettel. Um, again, I had a couple people ask me a long time ago and I've just never been able to do it probably because I don't have these out. They're usually packed away for my shows. But now that it's out, I thought I'd show you. Hope you like that. Hope it helps. Um, look into it. Like I said, the PayPal doesn't seem to increase the more that you make. So if you make over a couple thousand dollars, a lot of times with Square, there's a certain amount you can't go over without being charged an, an extra amount of money. I don't know if it's percentage. Um, I don't know if it's like a 30 cent, 40 cent fee. I'm not sure. But that was mainly the main reason I didn't stay with Square was because the the payment had tiers or something. It wasn't just straight across. PayPal doesn't cost you anything more. Obviously, if you manually put it in, I'm not sure if it charges you extra. So you can basically... Um, all right, let's put that back in the cart. We're going to charge. We're going to do card. Um... And if you don't have it, you can go here. Uh, I know it's somewhere around here. Where you're going to have to manually. Yeah, it's been a long time. As you can see, I don't use it very often. I don't know what I just did. But I know that there's a way. Tap to pay. No. I know there's a way that you can manually put them in, but it's not giving me that option anymore, so I don't know if that works anymore, which I guess is good, um, but this is why I can't take payments over the phone. Okay, one more thing in this. You got your receipts, so basically it'll tell you, you know, what you've sold on what days and stuff like that. So you have that right in front of you. It's got invoices, whatever invoices you got. Um, gift cards. I have one. Okay, no gift cards have been sold. So I guess you could actually sell a gift card. Oh, okay, I get it. Um, it'll have a list of all your customers. And reports of what you've sold, what days, and stuff like that. It's just, it's pretty cool the way it works and inventory so you've got inventory if you wanted to say okay I've got polymer clay earrings that are fifteen dollars I've got forty of those and that way you can at least still keep inventory and that way at the end of the show if you feel like counting them you can find out how many actually were stolen so that's another thing you you can also do so this is giving me a eight a ten a fifteen an eighteen a twenty and a twenty five which is all I have right now, but I just added a couple more price brackets. So basically, that's how it is. I don't know why it's not listing it. Um, but yeah, it's really cool the way it does it. And it's a fun program, and it works. So I'm happy. So I just wanted to come on here and show you that. And obviously, you're going to have to pair this to your phone. I got both of them paired to this phone, but I also will have both of them paired to her phone. Just in case she grabs the wrong reader or whatever, she'll still be able to use whatever reader is there. So basically, that's it. I'm hoping to be with you guys real shortly. Um, <clears throat> got a couple more things to finish up. Hopefully, I'll be done by, I don't know, hopefully within a couple of days. And then I may be able to play, but I may end up having to just concentrate on cleaning and pricing everything. So we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. So I just wanted to show you that, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.